check, check, check. Hello, everybody. Hello. How you doing? Thanks for coming out. So these are all songs that none of you have ever heard because I can't do any songs off of uh, the old records that I put out that I didn't write. But these are all songs that I wrote or I co-wrote. So I hope you enjoy them. I need a capo on this one. Good way to start off the show. I was so excited when I saw my birthday cake over there because uh, it's one of those kind, you know, where the picture's blown up. I've never had one of those. Has anybody ever had one of those with the, a picture of yourself on the... Have you had one? Oh, yeah. That's because you're a young boy. <laughs> See, that's a newfangled thing now. And now that I'm so old and I had this birthday. But thanks a lot. I appreciate probably Melissa probably had something to do with that. Yeah, thanks a lot, whoever did that. It was really. <laughs> yeah, but my mother would love that if she saw it. She wouldn't want to eat it either. My, my uh, cat uh, is on there. I mean, you guys can go look at it if you feel like it. Of course, not while I'm singing. No, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, my cat on there that's, that's hate, you can tell he's hating to be in that picture, is he's died now. And uh, he was 17 years old when he died. And so when I saw that picture of JT, but he's buried in the front yard of my house. OK, now I'm ready to go with this. Now I'm sitting at the table with my back against the wall and I can't blame it on the devil every time I take a fall and I was just a weakness that is deep inside of me.
check, check, check. Roll the windows down, turn the radio up. Driving fast, feel the wind in my face. Time is right, me and me. Finally get out of this place. It's too familiar here, it's driving me insane. It's a great big world and it's calling out your name. Baby, your dreams are just too big for this town. Baby, your dreams are just too big for this town. You drive all night through those big city lights, nothing's gonna slow you down. Baby, your dreams are just too big for this town. I got two hundred bucks, you got an old guitar, and a billion songs to play, and the boys back home. Say you'll never get far But I just said Get out of my way There's a tomorrow Out there with a brand new style Nothing can stop you When you're following your heart Baby, your dreams Are just too big for this town Baby, your dreams just too big for this town So you drive all night to those big city lights Nothing's gonna slow you down Baby, your dreams are just too big You know, I mean, if you don't want to sit there, uh, since there's nobody sitting there, you probably can sit there if you want. Not that I'm trying to tell everybody where to sit, but, you know, it's like not every seat is taken in here, so it's like, you know, this is probably not a good side to look at all. Come on down, man. I mean, you know what I mean? Whatever. If you want to sit there, that's fine. Though. No, I just, I was just thinking, I was thinking, you know, this guy's going to see this side the whole time, and I'm... Well, we promise we checked him for guns before. He's, he's, he's cool. I have no That's all right. I have bulletproof stuff on. I wear it everywhere. <clears throat> you need it when you live in Nashville as long as I have. Just kidding. Joy, this is Nick from the radio station. Oh, which Nick over here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, well, you know what? I tried to call you, okay? <laughs> that was no, no. twice. Tommy, yeah. yeah, Tommy. Okay, well. But it doesn't matter, man. I tried to call the radio station. Just so you know, I wasn't like sitting around going, I'm not calling them. <laughs> no. Uh, it's quiet in here. The baby. How old's the baby? Six months. It's happy. Well, speaking of, I was talking to Donna uh, about a mutual friend of ours, Walter Egan. Uh, he and I wrote this, and it's a brand new song. We just wrote it like two weeks ago, and so, and I, I write quite a few songs, but I certainly don't like every single one that I write, and a lot of them I write and forget about them. But uh, anyway, my publisher liked this one too, so I just sang the, sang it to them, and at my publishing company because the de the work tape was so horrible I couldn't play it for him. This is Dave Coleman, by the way, helping me out. 
So here's this here's a new one and I hope I can remember the words anyway. I mean, we were playing it in... Right. I didn't even give him a tape to learn it. I just said, here, this is how it goes. When we used to live at home, we knew everybody's name. It's not right. I don't have the right groove. Is, is this like live being taped and I'm like messing up? No, we would never do that to you. You know, you, you got the groove going on? You do? Okay. Yeah. See, I got the idea of this because I went, I went and visited uh, my friends up, uh, up uh, in uh, northern Indiana where I was raised. I was born down the south and, and raised up in northern Indiana. And uh, I was just thinking about what a good time I had going up there and seeing all my friends and my friends' uh, mothers who used to not like me so much when I was a brat, but now they love me. <laughs> when we used to live at home, I knew everybody's name. That's just the way it was, and it'll always be that way. where they ain't from where the kindness of a stranger makes a stranger feel at home everybody's from somewhere everyone feels pain everyone knows life ain't fair but you still gotta play the game everyone makes sacrifices Everyone still cares Everybody's from somewhere familiar faces and remember when the times were good life has made a changes nobody is immune but every place you'll ever go you know your hometown's still in you everybody's from somewhere everyone feels pain everyone knows life ain't but you still gotta play the game Everyone makes sacrifices And everyone still cares Everybody's from somewhere Finally got that one out.
right, eat my cake, just don't eat the cat. driving here from Nashville. Yeah. And it's starting to change the colors and the trees. I didn't see that actually. I was trying to put some makeup on at the time. <laughs> we told him he could borrow our makeup. He wouldn't take us up on that. Okay, uh, let me see. I wrote this song here about three years ago, I think. Travel around this lonesome world, cross the ocean a couple of times. Yes, it's true, I've seen a but the love I need I still can't find Got a house with too much room One toothbrush and an empty bed Come in late and don't hear a sound just the echo of my own footsteps But life can turn on a dime And the love that I've searched for I may soon find It may very well be me 
company So I packed it up and kicked it out Been living like this way too long Greg, may I have just a little bit more vocal here for me? You certainly may. Thank you. So, um, this guy's playing here next weekend, and I wrote uh, this next song I'm going to do right now for you. He and I wrote together. Dwayne Jarvis. Have anybody? I know some people have seen Dwayne. Come check him. Oh, somebody have does somebody like have a crush on him or something? He does. I thought something was up. I've had a crush on him too. He's he's a little guy. I like those short guys. I was dating this guy who was like six one or something. I don't know. He was really tall, way too tall for me. I told him that the whole time. I said, "You're too tall for me." And um, but he thinks that every time a short guy walks in that he likes, you like short guys. And it's like, well, so? I too, you know. I'm sure you wanted to hear that. But I like any kind of guy, really, you know what I mean? I just like him. Don't I, Dave? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's not like I'm out of control. I'm not out of control at all. Listen how sad all my songs are. vocal was so loud coming through, it kind of took me back. Let me start over again. Love sometimes is like a diamond. Sometimes it's like smoke. Love sometimes is just like smoke. It's like gold Well, I don't always know what love is But I know this love is fine We ought to get a little, a little bit closer I don't always know what love is But this taste just like wine Don't let our love die on the vine Love sometimes is like a mattress or a bed of nails Like freedom, 
with me um they're not everything that i'm playing tonight though it's not on any of those cds yeah i'm working on i'm working on some things it's not so easy since uh i don't really trust that many people in the record business anymore so but uh, i will have a lot of these songs that i'm doing will be coming out hopefully next year some somehow somewhere you know that song for sure that I played and probably this one too that Dwayne and I wrote too which I was uh, I was I've lived in Nashville for 20 years um, and um, yeah I was two years old when I drove I took off <laughs> I was about that baby's age and they said it couldn't be done but <laughs> no anyway I was a young sprout, you know, and I, I went down there uh, just to get the hell out of where I was living, you know, and, and uh, you know, it, to follow a dream, you know, and that's what this next song uh, brings me to because I was sitting in the passenger side of a, of a car for once. I usually do all the driving, but, and I, and I noticed this upstairs apartment. Uh, I saw the upstairs and the door was open and I saw something hanging on the wall as you're driving by, you know. And I, um, it just reminded me of, of the many apartments that I used to live in. And I, I just started thinking about, I wonder who lives there? And, you know, just wondering about what they did and all that. And I thought, and, and sometimes I wish I still lived in one of those little apartments, you know, and didn't have my messy house to <laughs> mow the grass and all that stuff. But, uh, no, I'm blessed that I do have a nice house, pretty nice house, you know. It's nothing fancy. But I can paint the walls any, see? <laughs> 
But uh, anyway, that's what this song is about. It's, uh, well, you'll, you'll get it. the cake and not that it really had anything to do with that but you know what I meant by that line didn't you not very many <laughs> not very many but I like it I will always remember this you know and you know I did go out and have some cake on my birthday because I had to, you know what I mean? I've been trying to lose some weight, you know, and of course, like, but that's the story of my life. I'm always trying to lose some weight. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, so I finally, you know, after I get together, I had with some friends, we went to those, the TGI Fridays, you know, because I knew 
that they're desserts. You know what I mean? I had to have something like that. And then after I had that big, and I split it with a friend, of course, you know, and he ordered some milk, you know, and I'd had a few margaritas, you know, earlier. And so by the time I'm driving home, I'm asleep. <laughs> You know what I mean, though? The chocolate and the milk and all that, I was just, there wasn't nothing left of me. What are we doing here? Now, this is a song I probably will mess up on, so I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. <laughs> I wrote this with this guy who, anyway, I won't mention much about him. But... It's a good song. <laughs> Actually, this song is all right. You know, he's like a maniac, but other than that, the song was all right. So he hates me now. <laughs> He's a, he apologized and left a message on my machine. It was just like, okay, whatever. But uh, here we go. Someone was calling it Seemed to me I heard that voice before Patiently Knocking on my door Then I turn on the light I know everything is gonna be
lot of chords there. <laughs> Let's see. Here's my really sad song now I'm going to play. Nobody's gal, nobody's girl. Nobody's, yeah, I kind of switched things on you, Dave. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, he's got to redo things. That's all right. I wrote this song. Uh, I tried to write a song with some... I, People in Nashville co-write all the time, you know, and I do it and also try to write songs for myself. And I'd gotten together with this guy who's a really good songwriter, and he's real cute, too. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> about three years ago, but we didn't come up with anything, and then he left, and there was still a song in me, so I just went back in my bedroom and looked out the window and just wrote this song myself. So that's it. See, am I right here? Let me see. No, maybe not. I think it is. Is that the right? something before actually um, I think it's like I don't know the exact date like October 29th or, or something the uh, this uh, photographer there Lawson Little is having an art show and I'm one of the featured uh, 
performers that he's taken pictures of for the past three or four years. And so <laughs> I hope they're not bad pictures because they're going to be like blown up really big. But there's going to be a bunch of other people there too. <laughs> and then I'm going to do like three songs too, along with the other singer songwriters that will have their pictures that he took. So he's having like this little art show. So that's one thing. At the basement, it's called the basement in Nashville on Eighth Avenue. It's located on Eighth Avenue. Oh, it's like, uh, yeah. Right, right by Tokyo <laughs> <laughs> where I work during the day. No, just kidding. Place. You don't really want to go to Tokyo Shana, but everybody knows where it is. Dave goes there all the time. I've seen his car. <laughs> <laughs> No, any, and, and I'm doing that. And then there is uh, the Americana Association is having a convention, and I'm playing like a about a 25, 30 minute slot with a band, you know. And I'll do some of these songs that you've heard here tonight. And um, that is November second and third. And I don't really know when I'm playing. I'm playing on the second. Yeah, and he he was supposed to be playing in the band, and also Dave plays. He's got his own band called the Coleman. And they were to be playing, but he's going to be in Europe now. Wah. <laughs> With a, no. No. Europe, it's not all cracked up what you think it is, folks. <laughs> they don't speak the language. Now, I know that we all really come from Europe in some way or, or another, you know, down the line. Or we wouldn't be here, right? Unless you're an Indian. Then you were already here. <laughs> and those Europeans came and ruined everything. No. And then call themselves Americans, but um, anyway, uh, Europe has been good to me. It's just I don't like the travel, you know. It's very hard. I can't stand it. Get that jet lag thing going. Yeah, and it's the fact that just, you know, you just dry up on those planes. I don't see how people can do it. Can you? Dave, I mean, I'm drying up on there. <laughs> Dave, I'm in the bathroom. Dave dries up you know? in the car, though. I mean, it's like he travels all over by car, so he gets dried out in the car. We, we went to Norway just this past summer. I, and we need a mic over here. Nah, they can hear it. His voice carries. It's such a big room. You know? <laughs> we, we went to Norway this past summer. It was a great time, but we, we spent 24 hours traveling. <laughs> Well, by the Just time. Just think of all the free cocktails, though. <laughs> <laughs> they were. <laughs> Plus, once you get to Europe, you know, it's just nonstop drinking. You know, over there, they drink. And, and so we got to Europe, and remember that big piece of hamburger or whatever it was? We've been traveling for way too long. <laughs> And I was just thinking, you know, I really don't want to stop and eat. I just want a bed. You know, I want to get there. And, but they're like, oh, we feed you now, you know. <laughs> so they're so happy to feed us. So we, uh, we, we have to go and eat there. There's no choice. I mean, you know, we're all in buses, and there's other bands, you know, from there was a big band, which was really great music, you know, the artists that were playing on this. It was a festival, so you've got all kinds of music, you know. And then someone like me, you know, they wanted to have a person like me there, too, to play. So uh, anyway, the, we, we were eating with, uh, what were these guys were from Vancouver, British Columbia or somewhere? Yeah, they were from up, up north in Canada somewhere, and they were great. Canada. Luckily, the cutest guy in there, like, sat right across the table <laughs> from me. Priorities in order there. Anyway, and I had, like, my boyfriend at the time with me on the road, too, you know, and he, you know, and he's, like, looking to see if the guy was really short or not. But... <laughs> But, uh, and he was kind of short, but uh, anyway, you know, we, uh, nobody felt good at that point because you, when, you've, when you're traveling like that for that long, I mean, no one really can sleep on an airplane. Um, and, and so they bring out these huge platters of After these. about an hour because that's fast when you go through yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a hamburger about that big with a fried egg on top of it and smothered in onions. <laughs> and so... I ate a little bit of it, you know, and other people were trying to eat it too, you know, and um, then we got back on this bus, and we're in Norway in the mountains, going like this, <laughs> and like this, and all of a sudden it was like the bus was pulled over, remember? Yeah, was it your cute man? Is it no, it wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> the cute guys never throw up, but... But one of the players, he was, I mean, this was a huge, like, how many piece band would you say that was? Twelve. Twelve piece band. And I mean, they were great, though. They played everything, fiddles, horns, you name it. 
and uh, they had to pull the bus over and he had to do his thing. And then after that happened, I'm like going, I think I'm going to get sick now. Because, uh, you know, it's just the thoughts of looking at that hamburger with the fried egg. <laughs> and you've been traveling for so long. You feel like rubber by then, you know, don't you? I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure everybody appreciates that. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't go nice into visual, details yeah. about yeah. what anything was. Green eggs and hamburger or something like that. Anyway. So um, the next time you have a hamburger with a fried egg, think of me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do the song uh, off uh, my last record. Life's just too short to eat fried eggs smothered in <laughs> onions. <laughs> As I walk through this world of heartache and grief, with troubles abound to test my belief, I'm learning to let go of the things I can't have and hold on to the good things I do but I'm not sorry we fell together I'm not sorry we came apart I won't carry that's a load that's too heavy Life's just too short We all need forgiveness And we need to forgive Holding Resentment, well, that's just no way to live. I'll just pick up the pieces, keep traveling on, and I'll leave my regrets behind. But I'm not sorry. We fell together, and I'm not sorry. Take a break and come back and do some more music. All right, everybody that was here for the first show that wants to get an autograph and a meet and greet and picture and everything, we're going to get Joy back here by the guitar store to do that and turn the lights up specifically for that. Melissa, you want to turn up the lights so everybody can see what they're doing? And if you have tickets for the second show, stick around. If not, after your meet and greet, please exit because we have another whole group of people ready to come in and have fun.
We could, we could always let Dave do a little finger picking for background music. You want to do some background music? I'll just sit down. Yeah, make fish. sure some of you don't know, but uh, Dave does have his own group called the Cole Men. They're going to the studio next week or the week after to work on a CD, too, so maybe we can get him down here with his group one of these days. Well, you were recovering 
from uh, an accident or with, with your daughter anyway. You guys used to watch that white girl every now and then <laughs> come on TV. She's been talking about you. I know everything about you people. She's told me everything. <laughs> Melissa, I should say. And I'd like to thank Melissa, too, for uh, putting us up here tonight and uh, setting us up. Because Melissa Crane is the reason that we came out here. Otherwise, I wouldn't even know that Winder was where it is. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just kept telling Vicki, okay, now where do we go? I was just driving. Turning colors, you're a leaf that's turning too. We go in opposite directions, yeah, 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 for the lack of true affection. you go, but my heart can't say goodbye, sometimes I just don't know, why we keep this love alive, why do we keep this love alive, when we barely even try, give me one good reason why, we keep this love. Now we're ever so far apart Was it all just a dream? Yeah, 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 yeah Cause baby now that's how it seems I like to let you go but my heart can't say goodbye Sometimes I just don't know Why we keep this love alive Why do we keep this love alive When we barely even try Give me one good reason why Seasons of love keep changing We've changed to cake we had here tonight. Uh, I thought there was. This is a little bit of it right here. It's my cat, JT. He was, uh, he's, he's not with us anymore. JT died, but he lived to be 17 years old. So I saw this picture and I just melted, of course, so they cut this out. I can't eat the cake and sing, you know. 
No, not at the same time, but uh, I, actually, I pro at home, I could if I was, I'm such a slob that I could sit there and like rehearse while I'm eating, you know? <laughs> as long but, as you're not using a microphone, it gets kind of sticky then. Right. Yeah. I made Dave clean the guitar strings really well before we did this show. <laughs> so these are all uh, uh, probably new songs to you because you've probably not... Well, you haven't heard me do these unless you've come to Nashville because I live in Nashville and I haven't had a record out since 97 and I'm uh, working on making a new record. So hopefully sometime next year, <laughs> I keep saying this every year now, that I'll have another record out. But. And these are, these are all new songs. So I wrote this song uh, about, oh, three years ago. Seems to be longer now. Maybe it was... Maybe it was four years ago. I don't know. I think it was three years ago with a friend of mine, Jan Brown, who has uh, put out some records herself. Uh, she lives out in California. She was in town. We wrote this song. My heart breaks, oh, I should tell you. He doesn't know what we're doing. <laughs> Guess. You'd know in a minute, though. We could probably say it wasn't going to be a certified miracle. Seeing as how DJ's not with us tonight. No, he's not. I, I wish I could do that song. I like that song. That whole album is great. Yeah. Yay for DJ. He's going to be here next weekend. You guys should come and see him. Right there's a... That's kind of what he looks like. That's him, Only like, smaller. Only shorter, yeah. We always have these weird angles, you know, on our pictures, you know, or doing weird stuff on these. I'd rather just have a picture of my cat and dog on my next album cover instead of me. How's this song go? La, 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 la. And hear my own heart beat. I toss and turn in such a silent place. There's just too much here I can never erase. And oh, if I Get it. 
this is pretty new too, very new. Let's see. what to do and he'll do it. <laughs> now I'm sure he's probably really bad, we just don't see it, you know. But I already told the other crowd that was here earlier that I do like guys, so it's not like I'm guy bashing, you know. <laughs> anyway. Um, I wrote this song, I started this song, um, Oh, uh, well, about three years ago, I kind of had a, a a good run of writing a lot of songs about three years ago, 
and I was up in Boston, and um, seems like, a, no, it was around the end of the summertime, because it gets chilly up there pretty quick, you know, and um, <coughs> it's where I started this song, and I ended up finishing it in Nashville with a really good friend of mine who has since moved back up east. He lives up in Maine. Doug Millett and I wrote this song. It's very different from any of my other songs. I hope I can remember it. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, it starts like that. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to make him just wonder all night what I'm doing. <laughs> see I have two sets here and um, I rewrote the set that I thought was better below but I can't see it because my guitar tuner is in the way so I'm looking at the old set so <laughs> he's probably got everything all fixed up the way I said Dave here is the set list and now I've ruined it for him It's all right. This is a homey atmos atmosphere. I mean, I could be sitting, too. I should be. I think maybe I do want to sit. These pants aren't so tight. I can sit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think that would be good. That one would work. I'm always tired of standing. So she can do this without hitting you now. Whack. Oh, gosh. I don't know about this one. I'll tell you what, I'll come up and do it. it was an accident, you know. I have been hit in the mouth with a mic re before, but uh, wasn't anybody, nobody did it to me, you know. I did it accidentally. We've had a few. Swinging around like three times. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've had, you know. One time I was singing and, and, and the stage had a crack in it right in the middle, and of course they stick the microphone right there in the crack, you know. It's like two pieces of stage stuck together, and I had these heels on, and my heel kept going right down there and at one point I, I lifted my leg and my shoe was stuck in there <laughs> and I'm like doing this like this is in Texas somewhere and I'm thinking I wonder if anybody notices that you know that my shoe is stuck there and I'm trying to get it you know and keep singing stuff happens to us you know <laughs> You had your heart so carefully It's impossible for anyone to see Sorry, I'm messing this up. Let me start this over again. I've only played this song like about two times other than in my living room. I've played it a lot. You had your heart so carefully It's impossible for anyone to see
song. I've recorded a song of his off my last record uh, called I Doubt If It Does To You. It's a really good songwriter. Nice friend and he let me borrow his ladder. So I've been doing some painting at, on my uh, shed at my house. Yeah, he sells uh, rare books online. Yeah. He gets me all the animal books, you know, like the Jane Goodall books or the Diane Fossey, because I'm such an animal uh, activist, I guess you would say. I don't really know if I act on it or not, but I would. I'd hit somebody if I saw him doing something mean to an animal. I would act upon that. said it before and I'll say it again It's gonna take more than good intentions To change the way things are Trying to keep the wheels coming off of the car Travel this road so long now Trying to keep the wheels coming off of the car
heard that expression before you know that means you're like dirt broke oh we're trying to keep the wheels from coming off the car well he had said that maybe he made that up quill you know the guy I wrote it with you never heard it down here it must be a well what about uh, Donna I mean she's from up uh, up east never heard of it. really he's from up east too well, well, no wonder nobody nobody gets that song. Then forget it. I'm never doing it again now. <laughs> I have to do it. It's up tempo, you know. Uh, I have a problem. I'm one of those girl singer songwriters that writes all these slow, sad songs. So let's do it. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, let's do someday soon. It's another song Will and I wrote. This is a song of happiness, or hopeful anyway, hope. Yes. Well, does anybody want to say anything while we're tuning? Um. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. I, I could do um a couple of times. This is known as Dave playing a tune. Well, Dwayne, yes. Dwayne Jarvis, would you like the mic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Next Friday night, Dwayne's going to be here with Randy Weeks. And Saturday night, we're going to have Jill Sissel, who's also from Nashville, and uh, the Music Mavens, along with Digger. Digger Lou. What's that? She's going to be down here next Saturday night. Digger. Digger Lou. That's a wild name. She's a wild girl. <laughs> Dave knows by first hand he experience He likes those here. wild girls. He, he digs her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <but laughs> well, are we ready, you think, for some hopefulness? Oh, you 
strawberry crush or orange crush grape crush no it's the worst kind of crush oh no have a crush actually crushes are fun actually I started this song uh, I tried to play it on a piano and I could never find anybody to write it with so I just finished it myself on a guitar and I had a, two crushes going on at one time of course neither one of them really panned out I mean well, one did, but it was it, ugh, it was the worst thing I could have ever d gotten myself into in my life. But, you know, at least we learn, you know. If you don't get hurt, how can you learn? Right, Dave? Even Dave, as young as he's been. Young as he... <laughs> Well, just keep playing that guitar and the girls will be swarming after you, you know. It doesn't work the same way for girls, you know, but it does for guys. <laughs> it's true. I hold this secret crush No one will ever know for you each time you brush against my weekend heart my weekend heart I go around with you but we're just as friends I wish you'd come to me I wish we'd break the ice and let this end I wanna be more than just your friend Secret crush.
desperate, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm having some trouble here singing. My voice is uh, just dry. It's like I flew here or something. Yeah, you didn't get that. I was talking about flying overseas and Europe, the, the other crowd I was talking about, how it just dries me out. I'm kind of a dry person, though. <laughs> What did you say, Dave? <laughs> what I meant by that is I have dry skin. Yeah. It really made my brother and sister mad because I didn't have that much of a bad acne stage growing up, you know? Oh, are you looking at me? <laughs> no. I, I have no idea. I've never seen any pictures of you as a kid. Did you have problems, like Dave? <laughs> hey, let me tell you, I was uh, chubby and redheaded and totally not in style you know I mean I was the whitest person at the pool Joy White too plus they made fun of me because of that too you know but then you know as I got a little bit older it was okay to be white and have red hair my mother always told me that because I hated my hair when I was a kid because I was teased all the time and um, whenever she made me really mad I couldn't say you know, you wanted to say, I hate you, you know, but you could, I just could never say that. So I probably would have been knocked across a room had I done that, but, um, you know, but she's a really good mother, so that probably sounds terrible, but, you know. But I would tell my mother this because I thought this was really evil to say this to my mother. I would say, well, that's all right, because when I grow up, I am dyeing my hair black, and I'm moving to California, and I'm never calling you. <laughs> and she would just laugh at me, which would make me get even madder. And she'd laugh, she'd say, oh, you'll like that hair one of these days. <laughs> so, uh, but, it, you know, it's, it's better than it was when I was younger. Which brings me, it's funny, I'm talking about my mom, because this song is uh, on her own that I, I wrote with a friend of mine, Amy Rigby. I had this idea going. And uh, this song is about my mother. So, you'll all get it here in a minute. Take her Cause she's got Time Things to see
Somebody likes that one. I wrote this song uh, with a friend of mine in Asheville, Angelo. And uh, yeah, he is. He's something else, that Angelo. <laughs> I'll tell him we said that next time I see him. I walk my dogs by his house all the time. You'll never know how old he is either, you know. He's like the mystery age. Like, how old is that guy anyway, you know? He'll look like that forever. Of course, he wears a little hat, so. It's like Willie Nelson. <laughs> right? Willie Nelson is looks basically the same forever. Yeah. It's rocking out there now. What is it, Saturday night, right? Uh... Anyway, what was I thinking about, Angela? I was going to say something, and I don't remember. Anyway, we wrote, oh, I was going to tell you what this song's about, because you might not understand what it's about, but when I tell you, then you'll get, get the lyrics more. It's, a, it's, it's about uh, uh, two street people. It was my take on street people, because y- you see so many of them in, in Nashville, sh- in any big city, you know, and... You, you always wonder what's going on with them, you know. I mean, what and, and something is, you know. Anyway, that's what this song's about, and I used these names, Iris and Elmer, because I like those names. <laughs> I thought it would be good. She was standing on a corner with that look in her eye Trying to forget about all his job He was shaking it off just like a matter of fact yeah. Waving his bottle, talking that trash But oh Worships the ground that he walks on. Yes. 
It's been going on forever Aris loves Elbert She stayed up way till the port quarter past three He was out trying to cut what he really don't need Searched high and low, but all he could find. Yeah, he was a desperate man at a desperate time. Who knows? She adores him. Kisses the ground that he walks on. It's been going on forever. Iris loves Elmer. Iris loves Elmer. Do 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 do. He can't put her down. He's his only vision. Can't kick him. She's tried her last addiction. She loves, she loves him. Kisses the ground. We could do that because some this is some new people in here. You're just hearing what we're gonna do up here. But you know, so we're sitting down. It's like sitting at home almost. Except there would be like a couple of dogs laying around and and some cats and you know. <laughs> This is one Dwayne and I wrote. He's going to be here next week, and he will do this song. He does it. I make sure, right? <laughs>
had that plan. That's what I get when I don't know the words. He gets me. do one more because my voice is like almost gone now. So, uh, and this one is off the last record, and I did, and I have that over there, if you don't already have it. And if you do have it, buy another copy. 
Well, you know, the holidays are coming up. That's true. They, they fit nice nicely Christmas in stockings. Present. No, I hate to be one of those people that always talks about their product, but we do have. I do have some, and half the time I play around Nashville and don't even take any with me because I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of those records. I want a new one out. But this is a song I wrote with a very good friend of mine, Susie Ragsdale, and and uh, Berlin Thompson. He's playing a mandolin. I think she wanted to see a mandolin. I can tell. I have it turned up, so I don't know what's going on out there. That, that might help. Whatever Dave is drinking, let's cut him off. Dave is a man. You need to know that the plug needs to be in in order for it to work. That was the problem. The college that did it. That degree. I don't know, did you? Huh? Did you take psychology? <laughs> okay, now try your A-B switch now, because I've... Aha! Let's have a hand for Dave, yeah. You know, uh, some of my friends tell me that I, that I could be a good psychiatrist. Just because I've read, like, about every self-help book known to man for myself. So then I sit there and analyze all their problems. But I can't do it on my own. What's the deal with that, you know? Codependency or something? Is that it? Codependent? <laughs> uh, 